parliamentary debate is there's four teams per debate. Each team has two speakers. And the speaker, there's two proposition teams and two opposition teams. Every single team is aiming to win. So the first proposition is aiming to beat the second proposition, the first opposition and the second opposition. So every team wants to win. That means you can't confer between the first proposition and the second proposition, the first opposition and the second opposition, even though you're speaking on the same side of the debate. The debate order is pretty simple. Each team, again, has two speakers. So the first speaker is first speaker of first proposition, then first speaker of first opposition, then second speaker of first proposition, then second speaker of first opposition, and so on until you get to the end of the debate. At the end of the debate, uh, the judge will take some time out and uh, look at his notes, consult his notes, and uh, decide who's won the debate, give various positions to all the speakers, and then afterwards call you back, give you feedback, and that's what we're going go to do today. So, um, for those of you who have never debated, the speech lengths are today. The speeches are five minutes in length. Uh, in length. Uh, obviously, the first time you do it, you're probably not going to reach five minutes. My first speech was about a minute or two minutes. But with a bit of practice, by the end of the nine-week program, um, you're probably going to be able to make five minutes. So like the first time, it really doesn't matter. My first speech was like one minute or two minutes, and I have nothing else to say. Is there any questions about that at all? <coughs> right. uh, so I'm just going to go through the various positions um, where you can debate, as in run, run through what the various roles do. So we'll start with uh, first proposition. Now, the first proposition speaker uh, is probably one of the most important people in the debate. Because what that speaker does is it sets up the debate. The speaker has to identify a problem, which will hopefully be obvious within the motion. So it has to clarify and explain what the motion is, and then propose policy, which will hopefully offer a solution to the problem. This is all going to become much clearer uh, once we actually give you a motion to debate. Um, on the right-hand side of the screen here, you can see the timing. They're only rough timings, but it's just to give a sort of a bit of structure to your speech. You don't have to adhere to them if you're debating before, but it's sort of a good aim for now on. <coughs> so that's what the first speaker does. The, uh, the second proposition speaker, so the person on his team speaking after him, um, is much the same thing. I'll take them in a second. It's much the same thing. They have to rebut the first opposition's arguments. So the first speaker <coughs> spoken, then the first opposition <coughs> speaker spoken, then the second speaker of the first proposition speaks. Now the second proposition, the, spe the second speaker for the first proposition has to rebut any arguments which have come up against their side, but also has to offer two or three arguments in favour of the policy uh, that the, the first speaker has proposed. Again, the timing is only a rough guide as to what you do. If there's still any clarification of the motion, you have to clarify that as well. But well, hopefully there won't be um, the first opposition person will hope you've done that excellently. Right, uh, the first opposition speaker. Uh, the main point of the first opposition speaker is to show why the proposition's policy is a bad idea, why it won't work, um, why it's generally terrible, and why we should oppose the motion. Uh, to do this, firstly, you're going to have to rebut what the person before you said. So you take their arguments and you show why they're not relevant, they don't make sense, you don't think they apply in this case, or any other reason, any other thing you can fault with those arguments, and show why that's wrong. That's the first thing you do. After that, you have to offer two or three of your own arguments against the motion. So that's slightly different from rebutting, because they have to sort of be somewhat more original than what the other person has said. They have to be something new. They have to have something in the debate. So again, like, as you debate, it's going to become much more obvious as I go along. Sorry. Uh, again, timings are only approximate. On the end, the second speaker for the opposition does virtually exactly the same as the first speaker. You rebut the argument, then you offer your own argument. So that's the top half of the debate, as we call it. So that's the first four speakers.